um, again, uh, when we take we talk about recruiting, we have to talk about mindset. So mindset will affect our recruiting, and, and it can be a positive or a negative uh, effect. So how does your mental mindset affect your business? You know, when you have you're, you're in a good mood, you're on a good day. It's just like calling leads when you're recruiting. Um, when you're calling buyers, you've got to be in that mindset of um, positive. You know, whatever's happening at home, you got to leave it at home. And when you're in business, you put on the shirt, you put on the name tag. You got to be in the business mode. So I, we talk about mindset when I deal with my coaching, consulting with the brokers, and it will affect your your business. And external factors affect our business too. Um, I started my company in 2007, not necessarily the best time in Florida to start a company. And from 2008 to 2011, we grew year over year by 76%. Wow. Even though the market itself and my biggest competitors were retracting, we as a new company were growing 76% year over year. So we had exponential growth and uh, we were recognized by the business journal for that. So these are some of the factors that can affect our business even though there's negative factors right now affecting a lot of businesses where I hear about the COVID-19 and how it's affecting people out there. I'm also talking to brokers who are saying to me, you know what, Stan, my July, my June was 10% above last year, this year. So even though that there, there might be external factors that are affecting companies over a whole, it doesn't necessarily have to affect you and your marketplace. Yeah. Um, but your beliefs have to be centered around that you have to be grounded and you have to have a mindset which we talk about a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. Fixed growth mindset is a person whose mindset is limited to what they have. They were born to the talents they have. They can't move it beyond that. A growth mindset says, you know what? I might not be a born salesperson, but I can learn how to sell. I can learn how to overcome objection. I can learn the scripts. I can be better. Um, if you already defeat yourself by saying, hey, I'm not a good tech guy, well, then that's a fixed mindset saying that I cannot increase my mindset. So um, this is something we work with the brokers on the mindset. Uh, another thing, I, if you ever Google this out there, Google uh, scarcity versus abundance. A lot of uh, individuals right now are dealing with a scarcity mindset and, and fear that they're going to lose it because of the COVID-19 and what's affecting the business. And it makes sense when you look at your bank account and you're seeing the lack of transactions, you're seeing the lack of business. I completely understand the scarcity mindset, but that will not positively affect your business. You have to move from there to an abundance mindset. And we'll talk about at the very end how we can change our mindset so we can be better recruiters for that. With now, mindset, when, a lot of this is a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Yeah. If you if you tell yourself, you know, it's scary out there, COVID-19 is scary and everything is bad, your business is going to be bad. But if you tell yourself, you know, there there is still opportunity here, you'll find the opportunity. So it's very much a self-fulfilling prophecy and there's no reason to fall into that negativity and brokers and team leaders who run lead systems probably see it also within their brokerage and their teams when you see agents if they have the mindset that they, the leads are going to suck guess what the leads will suck if they have yep. the mindset the leads are good then they'll have that mindset of good just a golden nugget to give you guys um i, re I remember having an office meeting and, and having multiple agents in the office meeting and we always ended the office meeting with a success story and always wanted to center it around the lead system because my goal was to get more agents on the lead system to generate more revenue for the company. So I, I can remember uh, a specific agent standing up, talking about the success they're having, saying, I just got on the lead system. I was on it for 90 days. I got you know two deals impending and I got one closed and I got a listing from it. And they're talking about the success story and I'm hearing in the audience, oh, it's only because she gets the good leads. Uh, of course, of Which, course. The of mindset course it, is. it could be totally, yeah, because we, we build algorithms to only give the good agents the good leads <laughs> and the bad agents. But in the mindset of, of the course. agents, sometimes I have it. And the same thing happens to us as brokers and team leaders. We can get in that mag mindset of, you know what, there's, you know, why am I doing the business? The business is going down, all that kind of stuff. You know, my competition is taking my lunch from me. You know, all this kind of stuff affects us. It is mindset. <laughs>